Hey, you're watching Volgar's videos, and this is a review on Opera. Watch how fast this thing opens up. One, two, two seconds, and it's open. Let's try that with Firefox. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, what, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Alright, let's go with Opera. You get the idea. Opera is very fast. I mean, a lot of people say um, Safari is fast and Google's f or Chrome's fast, but Opera is so underrated. People don't, there it goes. Finally, so, or, uh, Firefox came up. Okay, you can go home now. Alright, so let's zoom in here. Alright, right here is what you're seeing is not top sides, but speed dial. Okay, you can go home now, Firefox. I'm with Opera now. Alright, quit. Get out of here, get out of here, go home. I don't want you anymore. All right, <clears throat> right here is speed dial. Now, y this may look very similar as Google Chrome's most or not vis mo what was it? Google Chrome's um, most visited sites, I think it is, and Safari's top sites. Well, this is where it originally came from. Speed dial. The only difference is instead of having your most visited sites pop up automatically you manually choose what sites you want I like that I like to actually choose what I want not not sites that I just you know sites that I might go to but I might not like as much as other sites I go to less so you're in full control you can drag and drop whatever sites you want you just go to edit you can type whatever site you want right there or you can drag and drop your um, link wherever you want and bam um, yeah, so you just click on it, and right there, you got your site. Also, if you don't want to type, open up a new tab and click on it, all you got to do is punch in the number, and that fast, bam, you got eBay. Now, I don't know why eBay's got a YouTube logo, but don't worry about that right now. That's that's not so far, or that's not Opera's fault. That's probably my fault for some reason. Let's see if it's a fluke. Let's try again. Hmm. Yep. There's a fluke. All right. So um, let's go out of there. What else is cool? Um, oh yeah. When you click right here, this is off by default, but you can change that. You got home, which for home is Yahoo, which I just got that button right there. So that's also home. Um, top sites, top ten. Mozilla Firefox has uh, most visited sites, and Safari's got. And Chrome's got the top sites, which this is a lot sleeker. It's a lot, you know, because it, the values change. It's a lot better to see it like that than, um, well, right here, which I don't like that. However, in Speed Dial, I wish I could have more sp Speed Dial buttons, like in Safari 2 or bit was Safari 2, the beta, you can have like up to 24 or something like that um, top sites. So what else can you change? Duplicate tab, that's cool. Um, a range, you can cascade like that. That's pretty cool. You can do that. You can do that, and you can do that. Yeah. So there's a lot, to, uh, lot to get from. Opera right here. You go to your recently closed tabs. So if I close this and this, and open these back up, you go back over here and you can open your tab you just closed. So that's really cool. I like that. It's pretty much the Control Alt or the Control Shift T feature in Firefox, or you can download the add-on. It's a little button. Well, Opera has it built right in. Um, you go to a website. I'm just gonna go to ScrewTac. You got a little bar here that fills up. 
it used to be d on by default, but now you have to turn it on in the options by default. It's a little bar right here. Um, transfers. You got your toolbar right here. You got your history. Your widgets. Uh, new widget. It's pretty much a, a poor man's version of add-ons from like on Firefox only. They're not as good, and they're kind of pointless because everything you really want is already on um, Opera. So if I want to analog clock, just click on it, download a new widget, and in a few seconds it should be done. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you want to keep this widget? Yes. There you go. I got a clock. So it's kind of cool, but it's kind of pointless. I mean, if you like, to, if you're a download addict, then you're you'll have a lot of fun with this, but for me, I've got everything I already want with Opera. And I have a clock right here on my Google sidebar, which I'm kind of addicted to. I love this thing. I don't, under I don't understand why so many people hate it. It's so awesome. So your speed of your internet, your CPU gauge, your RAM gauge, clock, volume, progress bar of your time, scratch pad. Yeah, I love that thing. Oh, and the Google thing. I love this. If you don't have Google, or if you don't have, duh, if you don't have um, Vista, because in Vista you can do a quick search in a start bar or start menu whatever but in XP it's start or it's it's search f functionality is so slow you got to download this you just got it just for the search feature just for the search feature it's worth it okay well back to Chrome or not Chrome excuse me Opera um got the analog clock right there so that's a new widget um notes you can type whatever you want call and add and yeah you can just add in like phone numbers or favorite size whatever just notes it's it's really cool because whatever's on your mind you just type away um transfer a little um download manager right there it's got my downloads history and I love this I love the little sidebar thing it makes it so easy to find what you want instead of like holding it, hold it down in the menu and waiting it to drop down. It's so better having a side menu. In fact, if you if you're a Firefox freak, download uh, the all-in-one sidebar. It's so worth it. Oh, another cool feature is the the mouse, the mouse um mouse gestures, which you can download in Firefox, but Opera is where it's the feature came from came from. So if you hold down your right button and click left, go back. Hold down the left button and click right, you go forward. Hold on the right button, scroll. You can go through your um, tabs. There's other features like um, holding a right button, flick up. That doesn't do anything apparently. Um, hold on the left button, go back. It opens up a new tab. I think. Yes. No. I don't know. I haven't used. I haven't done that much in this one. Um. Yeah. Pull out the left button on there. You can also arrange by horizontally, arrange vertically, arrange cascade, and arrange maximize all. So there's a lot of customization. You can customize a lot of stuff, appearance. There's also different uh, themes and colors you can do. Um, yeah, there's a lot to like about Opera. One of the only things I don't like, and this is because I am a Craigslist freak, Craigslist whore I guess I should say. Um if I open up the tab and I go to um where is it? Craigslist. I mean go to Oh, someplace. Here we go. Grand Marquise. I don't even like Grand Marquises unless. Well, actually, it looks like a pretty nice Grand Marquise. I'm not gonna buy or whatever, but oh, sure. The one car I click on does not have an email. Um, for exhibition, I think these suck, but whatever. Let me click on. This is one thing I think sucks with Opera. People, if you're listening to work with Opera, fix this problem. I click on the email. Watch what happens. Use system default or create Opera mail account. This is what happens when you use system default. You end up with this crap. I don't want to use Outlook Express 6. And this is what happens if you use Create Opera Account. You get with this crap. I don't want to deal with this crap. 
However, Opera does have built-in IRC, which is pretty cool. Um, cancel. So this way, guy do. You go to compose. No way. Actually, you go to uh, copy email address. Then you open up um, your Yahoo. I use Yahoo for Craigslist and um, anything important. I have my Hotmail linked to my Yahoo, or my Yahoo, or my Hotmail connected to my um, YouTube. Go to mail. And then you would paste the the email and then reply to that person you want to talk to. So that was the Gore's videos. Um, I'm gonna rate this browser a solid eight. Download it, give it a shot. Opera is so worth it. Better than Chrome, Safari, and oh my god, Internet Explorer. If you're using that, slap yourself right now. For Gore's videos, stay tuned for more. Comment, rate, subscribe.